Hello everyone. This is case number 1 of a case from a book series. This is the chest x-ray. This belong to asymptomatic previously well patient sent for the preoperative evaluation. What is the major pathology you can see here? Yeah, it shows a solitary pulmonary nodule within right upper lobe and rest of the chest x-ray is normal so the key imaging finding is solitary pulmonary nodule what could be the differential diagnosis in this case the top 3 differential diagnoses are granuloma neoplasm and hematoma and additionally two further differential diagnoses i would like to add the round pneumonia and av malformation Number one, granuloma. Usually, granulomas are produced secondary to an infectious or inflammatory process like TB, fungal disease, and vascular tides. Radiographically, granuloma can be present as solitary or multiple pulmonary nodules. In granuloma, you can see the benign type of calcifications, as example, central, diffuse, popcorn, or laminated. If you see these kind of calcifications. no need further workup is necessary but if you see eccentric speckled or amorphous type calcifications these are suspicious for a neoplastic process unless proven otherwise in granuloma you can see calcified hyla and mediastinal lymph nodes second differential diagnosis is neoplasm neoplastic solitary pulmonary nodule can be either primary or metastatic disease in neoplastic solitary pulmonary nodule the borders usually irregular and you can see suspicious calcifications like speckled eccentric or amorphous type in adenocarcinoma it present as a solid or part solid or ground glass nodule in a peripheral location and an adenocarcinoma is considered as most common primary malignant of lung Squamous cell and small cell carcinomas are usually associated with smoking and tend to occur centrally. In squamous cell carcinoma, it is prone to get cavitated. The small cell carcinoma usually present as a perihyla mass with associated lymphadenopathy. Our third differential diagnosis of solitary pulmonary nodule is hematoma. Hematomas are composed of normal tissues assembled in disorganized fashion. They are the most common benign tumor of lung. In radiographically, these are well-defined solitary masses, usually less than four centimeter in diameter. And then you can see the focal macroscopic fat in addition to benign type of calcifications, usually popcorn type. And these most helpful uh, signs of hematomas. When you are evaluating fat within hematoma, better to look for visible fat rather than HU value because this can be falsely be low from averaging with air. Then our fourth or additional differential diagnosis is round pneumonia, usually seen in pediatric patients younger than 8 years. This is due to centrifugal spread of rapidly replicating bacteria through the pores of corn and cannulas of Lambert. from single primary focus in the lung when considering av malformation as a solitary lung nodule these arteriovenous malformations are abnormal communication between pulmonary or systemic artery and the pulmonary vein if you see multiple avm these are 90% are associated with osler weber rendu syndrome or hereditary hemorrhagic telangiectasia this is characterized by epistaxis telangiectasia of skin and mucous membrane and gi bleeding av malformations are usually congenital but can be acquired in case of cirrhosis trauma and certain type of infections radiographically these are well defined and avidly enhancing nodule or masses with enlarged feeding artery and draining vein it is very critical to identify this avm otherwise inadvertent biopsy can be deadly consequences usually avm are treated with embolization either coil or detachable balloons in this particular case the diagnosis was hematoma this case we found on top 3 differentials in radiology a case review book if you like the video you can like it comment it 
and share among your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel see you soon bye